So, in this video, I'm going to talk you through using an old phone. Like this one I have, an old iPhone 6. And how I turn this into a sat-nav, and how I use it. So, to get it mounted up, let's screen record the phone, so you can see what I do and what settings I have. And what we will do, we will get ourselves a little root set in there. We will venture on the little route, and while we are riding, I'll talk you through how to set it up. So what I did, and the reason I did it, is I used to use my phone, my own phone, as my sat-nav. But the problem I was having was when I'm out riding, and I get notifications coming through, they would pop up on the screen. And what I would find the notifications were doing, they were popping up here at the top, and I was hiding the next turning, or which junction I take at an island. So it was a bit of a nightmare to try and use. So, I had an old iPhone 6. Looking at these now, they're selling for about £70. So, you know, the phone's not worth anything. Wasn't really worth selling it. So I thought, what could I do to use the phone? So, I did a little bit of research and I use Google Maps. Now, Google Maps you can use in offline mode. So what you do, you can go into Google Maps, click your profile at the top. You need to be logged into your Google account. Click your profile. And then once in your profile, go down to Offline Maps. And you'll get a little window to search the area you want the map for. Now what I did, I mean, I've downloaded the whole of the UK and of France. So I deleted all content from the phone. The phone is nothing used purely just for sat nav so i've got rid of all the apps anything on there i didn't need because uh, some of the maps you download can be quite large so i've downloaded all of france and all of the uk and that's took up about two gigabytes on the phone so you might want to make sure you've got plenty of room on the phone you then find your area as i was saying you then download your area and that map is then saved to your phone I connect the phone to the Wi-Fi in my house and then I just click on update on the maps just to see if there's been any changes or because obviously if there's any roads closed or anything like that or speed limits changed you won't know the map would have been updated so I update the map before I go out just so I know I've got at least within a 24 hours I've got a current map now the reason I use this phone is is like a lot of phones what use Android 2, your phone has built-in GPS. Same as the sat-nav, your tom-toms, your garments, it's got GPS built into it. Now these satellites are all round the planet, so there is enough of them there pumping out a signal. So you don't need much more. So with this GPS, I thought, well I could use the phone I don't want to pay for another SIM card, another contract, or even a pay-as-you-go. So I thought, can I use the phone with no SIM card in? So I've got no 4G, no 3G, no cellular network, nothing, no Wi-Fi. The phone is running purely off GPS, which it's got built in. Now you can run Google Maps in this mode. And what I found out is with a lot of phones and a lot of apps, I mean, I've done it myself, I've been to Wales, uh, decided to change a route, clicked on my maps on iPhone, and obviously because there's no signal, I can't get the route. The phone just says cannot find the route. And that's, that's nothing to do with the GPS, that's to do with the app trying to download the map using my cellular network. And obviously there's no cellular network, it can't download the map. So if you switch your cellular network off, your phone has to rely on GPS. 
that you can't use your GPS to download the map. You need either 4G or on Wi-Fi to download your map. So you need to make sure you've downloaded your map beforehand. So at the moment, this phone is running. As you can see, no SIM card, there's no Wi-Fi. I've got no 4G, no 3G, no EE, I've got nothing. So the phone is only using GPS. And as you can see, the map is working. Now they say with the satellites and GPS, the accuracy of a satellite is average between 4 to 11 metres. That's how accurate it will pinpoint you. So what we'll do, we'll see. I'm coming up to an island now. We'll see how accurate it is. Now I'm literally... Let's try and go a little bit slower. I'm on the island. The map is spot on. It's picking me up. Let's try a little bit quicker. Now, as you can see, that map is perfectly keeping in time with me. It's not lagging behind. So I'm now about to go underneath a bridge where there's an island on top. And if you look on the map, I am directly underneath the island. So that works absolutely perfect for me. I've got all my maps downloaded in there, France, all of the UK. Now how this actually works is, Google Maps on your phone doesn't require 4G, 3G, cellular network, Wi-Fi. It doesn't need any of them for it to work. It can work purely off GPS because your phone has GPS built into it. Now you can use Android phones. I think you can even use this on an iPhone 5. The only reason you might not want to go too old, you need to be able to keep Google Maps up to date. So obviously if your phone's too old, you might not be able to download the latest version of Google Maps. So it relies purely on GPS. So your 4G you use when you are out riding, it's not actually doing your route on your phone. What it's doing is if you change route on your map and you're searching for something, your phone We'll obviously try and use the 4G then for a, a quicker response to find the route quicker. But with Google Maps, you just use the offline mode. Download the maps beforehand, store them on your phone. Google say it will keep the map for up to a year on your phone and then it will remove them. But as long as you keep the map updated, like say once a month, just go on there, go to your offline maps, click on update it checks if there's any changes, any new roads have been built, any roads are closed, that will keep your map active. So you could, you could basically map the entire globe and keep it stored. And that's how I use an old phone as my sat nav. I don't know, I have to rely on using my current phone. And another feature I use it for is an emergency status. So what I do is I've got I've got my phone here. So the good thing is if ever I smash this or dropped it, got it wet, and I was out somewhere and the phone was broke, I can just put my SIM card into this one and I've got another phone. Obviously if somebody pinches it, I've got no SIM card. But what I also do is on the home screen of this phone, I will show you, I've got my emergency details stored so what will happen is if ever I something happens to me I'm out on my own have an accident somebody finds me obviously the first thing I'm going to try and do is look on my phone can they find any details but obviously without knowing my pin number or actually getting my hand and putting my fingerprint on the phone I've set the home screen so even if it's locked I've got an image saved with my contact details on and next of kin. So all information is there of who they need to phone. I've also put on there what blood type I am, if I'm on any medication, have I got any allergies. So just a little tip there, which might come in handy for a few people out there. You know, at the end of the day, this phone's not worth anything. So if somebody pinched it, you know, they've pinched it, it's not worth anything. I'd be more upset 
that they've pinched my Ultima add-ons case and not the actual phone. So I've got no details stored in the phone, no bank cards, nothing like that. No App Store logins, so they can't go and buy stuff on the App Store. It is purely just a sat-nav. So that's how you use an old phone as a sat-nav with no SIM card. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Oosh.